ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Wembley Premier League, coming to you live from Birmingham, where it's time to meet the six-time Premier League champion. He's a record-breaking, history-making, 16-time, the champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get this party started! Snake Boys, Peter! Peter Snake by right in second place. It's a crucial game this one, Rod Harrington. It's huge, and I think when you look at the form of both players coming into this, it's going to be a close one. Peter Wright won in Germany the weekend, still kicking with those new darts, and Phil Taylor, the way he played, yeah, that was quite funny to Phil Taylor, I have to say. But uh, the way Phil Taylor rolled off in seven legs against Gary Anderson last week was Taylor at his best. Need some more of that tonight. Phil Taylor's still one of the best players in the game and still a force to be reckoned with. Fascinating match. Game three of the evening still to come. Gary Anderson, Barney and Adrian Lewis, Michael Van Gerwen. Rod's heading into commentary where he's joining Nigel Pearson. Thank you, Dave. Yes, looking forward to this one with uh, the power. Currently third place, as Dave just mentioned. With Peter Wright looking set fair. Had a good win in Germany over the weekend as well. Snakebite to continue his fine, fine run of form. Peter Wright with power with six wins, three draws and four defeats. 15 points for Phil Taylor and uh, a win here would see him set fair as well when it comes to the battle for the playoffs. Of course, last week, Phil Taylor had that magnificent battle with Gary Anderson. He was beaten at the end of the night. Chizzy 7-2 against the power, but that game against Gary Anderson, when Gary was 4-0 up, Phil Taylor reeled off seven straight legs, averaging 111.52 to turn around. And what a start!
for Phil Taylor. Not the biggest 180 scorer in the Premier League. 30 so far now in this campaign. 10 behind Peter Wright. 14. But a great start by the power. Who do you fancy for this one then, Rod? Well, it's a flick of a coin, to be quite honest, Nigel. I mean, after the weekend, I'll probably lean towards Peter Wright, but Phil Taylor, oh, the way he rolled off those seven legs, we've, we've said so many times this evening, that was an incredible display of, of how to throw great darts, but also great darts at crucial times. You know, you can always pummel your opponent, but sometimes when he comes back at you, the big score, the big checkout, really does put him on the back foot, and that's what he did against Gary Anderson. But the way he's kicked off this evening, it, it, Phil Taylor at his best. It was remarkable, really. It was almost like he oh, just flicked the switch. There was I in commentary last week suggesting that Phil had got one eye on the Chisnell game at 4 0 down, giving it up as a bad job. 7 4 win, right 15 one. minutes later. It was remarkable. Oh, treble 10 would leave double 16 here. He's got the treble 10 for a 12 data. 49. He's got plenty of time. But in that last game, Chisnell did all the other players a favour because if Phil Taylor had won that, they'd been 17 points, the same as Peter Wright, which would have pushed them oh, three no, no, points no, clear. But by Phil Taylor losing, brings that third spot more in, third and fourth spot more in for the other players. Really is tight, isn't it? Lucky. He's well, in the first leg. There was no pressure Phil on the Taylor. power there. But a magnificent leg, leg from him. Could have been a 12 dart leg from Phil Taylor, but so, some missed doubles. He missed three there. But he takes the lead. Now, what can we see from Peter Wright? He's had a good year so far on the circuit. 100. As we say last weekend in Germany in tip top form once again. That third dart in the treble. I was expecting the switch to the 19s. However, Sixteen. Wright is not one of the players that switches too often. James Wade's another. He'd rather move or just try and pitch a dart over the others. That's two, and there's plenty of room for the third. Oh, that's why he's hit it. It was too easy for Peter Wright. That's one maximum each. We talk about perfect first darts. Cool. Not much. Look at this. Oh. Perfect line. Bottom of the treble 20. One top right, one top left. Not a bad start to this game. Ninety-five. We talked to the younger players now. If that first dart is so important, if it's in the good position, it just makes the rest, and that is in another great position. And that's why it's so easy for him to find the rest. 140, Peter Iguain, 126. Taylor's averaging 110. Very early stages of this one, of course. Treble 19 would leave the ball for Snakebite. Needs the ball. Easy. Now, he can't. Peter Iguain, 121. Seen him do this many times down the years, of course we have. Treble 17 would still leave him the ball. Not this time. 97. Lovely last down, to be fair. 46. Just puts a little bit of pressure. Just ask the question of Peter right here. He's got two darts in hand. He needs double 16 now. Levels it. What a pace. These are off. Let it fill to throw first. That's where Peter Wright right has improved so much over the last year. I thought he had asked the question. He was asked the question there from Taylor. His first dart, he didn't worry about using the last dart in his hand. Got those that bit of confidence on the doubles. Makes the ball so much easier. And of course, just we said, no, I just come off a, a big win in Germany, a Euro event, so he's got to be high in the confidence. 55. Yeah, so he's had a good year so far. Three defeats in 13 outings so far in the Premier League for Peter Wright. Taylor's only lost one more than that. 17. A bit wayward that time, though. Needs a big score here now, Peter Wright. Uh, one below, one above. Can he get it in the middle? Six, only 60. That's not enough, really, to put any pressure on Phil. Oh, he's got a big 
school Plasterdies. Needs a maximum, really, does Peter Wright to put himself back in this leg. He needs to start getting his first start just up a little bit. But I'm always low in the treble. He should find another treble from there. Just moves across, won't go for those 19s. 100. Turn not enough for Peter Wright. That's a lovely first start from Taylor. 100. We find the trouble 20s quite regularly, Rod, particularly with the first dart. The trouble 20s are working nicely for Taylor, aren't they? Yes, in the 106 average, and a bit of change. He's proven that. He's gonna, he doesn't have. Yes, he does have to go to bullseye route, or will he go straight, straight for the treble 19, which is hand? Double 18 is the route now. Oh, that's a lovely Taylor in his prime, that was where he headed everybody's stats. About eight, seven or eight out of ten of those two dart finishes where everybody else was lucky to get four, maybe even five. Oh, that was lovely the way he did that. Two important trouble twenties for Peter right there. He's gone with throw so far then. Taylor last week averaged 104.3 against Gary Anderson. 60. But that was after being 4 0 down. Quite a comeback next week. One hundred and nicely done from Wright. Currently second in the league table, Peter Wright. Three points behind Michael Van Gerwen, who has just been pegged back by Dave Chisnell. Eighty-four. Could have been worse. He was staring defeat down the barrel. Two weeks to go, that one point that Dave Chisnell should have had the win Nine against Van Gerwen. Could be very costly for him. Just got to set it up there. Phil Taylor's a long way off. 68. No harm done with the first dart. Yeah, looks like going with throw again here. He's got to switch. Goes for the trouble 19. You fancy Peter Wright to take this out now, don't you, and level it at two apiece. Wants to go next door at double eight, no problem. Two apiece here. Good start to this game. There's a different set of darts that Peter Wright usually received from last Thursday. Very colourful ones in this last week. 140. All over him. However, they may look good. Doesn't mean you're going to throw them. 100. Hard fought. 7 3 win over James Wade in Belfast. Last Thursday. Here tonight, we're in Birmingham. Barclay Card Arena. Formerly known as the N99. Birmingham that has been regenerated significantly over the last 15 years. 100. Nice from Taylor again. Lovely start. Let me stay up there. No, switch for 18. Yeah, just to make sure that he's left to check out. Andrew Peter Wright's going to have to hit a big score. He puts a pressure on Taylor. Looks like it gets six darts from 164. 100. Do you six go darts he's going again. So he doesn't have to go to bullseye route. Even he hits the trouble 20 with that first dart. Well, let's take all that out of the equation anyway. 50. Gee, now that opens the door up for Peter Wright. What a time to hit a bad score from Taylor. Yeah, they were his worst three darts of the game. Hit the treble. That's a nice last down from Peter Wright. So here we go for Taylor. Can he hit the treble 20 with a first dart? Dipped well below. Treble 18. 
58. Now, will he be back, or is this Peter Wright's big chance now? Well, sometimes, Dodge, these are the only shots you get to break the throw. You can have two darts at the treble 20. Oh, he's gone the 54. Double 16. It's his favourite to break the throw, and they go 3 2 up against Phil Taylor. And double 16 it is. A clean kill. And you have to say, Knights, that all was caused by three bad darts from Phil Taylor from 164. Yeah, no margin for error in the Premier League, is there? Your opponent's there, ready to punish you. And Taylor has played beautifully in this match so far. But it's a break of throw, and he finds himself 3 2 down. Fair play, Peter Wright. Nicely done. A lot of time for Peter Wright to uh, throw an indifferent leg. Needs to carry on. Needs to get that two legs clear. One Just puts you know, a little bit of the element of doubt in your opponent. You, you know, when the two legs will drift, you're trying to force the extra treble 20. I was just about to say, then you find the others, which he has done with the first dart. 45. Yeah, a real opportunity for Peter Wright to kick on and have a two-leg cushion here. A win for Peter Wright would put him on 19, it would be well clear. One foot in the 02, I would suggest. Taylor would still be on 15. And with Gary Anderson and Raymond Van Barneveld coming up next. 57. It wouldn't be such a bad result because it's still well and truly being contention with two weeks to go before the o2 sheffield next thursday and aberdeen on the 11th of may 60. well james wade did a few players a favor by beating adrian lewis in that first game adrian, well he was in contention I just really does put the pressure on because he's playing michael van Gogh last on and a loss there he took that one foot in. I think he's got both feet out of them playoffs. 65, Phil Uruguay, 124. <laughs> Treble 18 would leave the ball now for Taylor. 40. Now, if you require 116. Peter Wright really has to get this with Taylor sitting on 84. This for a hold of throw and a two leg cushion. Starts with a treble 20, leaves 16 tops. One dart at tops, here we go. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. He's taken out a 104, he's taken out 116, and Peter Wright leads four legs to two. Yes, clinical finishing from right there, that's exceptional. Especially when Taylor's right there, ready to pounce. And you can see, well, says it all from Phil Taylor however he was 4-0 down to Gary Anderson so he won't panic no but to be fair he did start this game much better 100. played really well in the early stages Phil Taylor that's better can he fill it up Whoa. for Phil Taylor tonight just the one for Peter Wright but he won't mind the most important start is four legs to two room to fill it up here 140 Some fine finishing from snake bite here so far tonight the ton may not be enough 100 Against the throw, the door is open for Peter Wright. Another 140. Give him a chance of that 1 2 1. And the way he's playing on the checkouts. 100. Well, that may do. It depends on what Phil Taylor hits. He needs two trebles. One, you feel, will not be enough. And that going in the five has really helped Peter Wright. Massive chance 45. here, Nigel, for Peter Wright. Going to get 61. possibly six darts from 1 6 1. In a great position for another break of throw. 
Where's he going to go now? He went for the 25. 65. He'll be rolling 147. So pressure on Taylor here. Needed the travel 20 to start with. Will he go travel 18? 95. He did. Need so Peter right here now. Needs 96. Starting at the treble 20. Leaves double 18 for 5 2. This would be a huge moment. Oh, it's a huge moment. 5 2. Peter Wright leads. He has the darts. He holds here. He will not be beaten by Taylor. Peter to throw first. Game on. That's incredible finishing from Peter Wright. 106, 104, and a 96. Two of those were to break the throw of Phil Taylor. He holds on to his throw. Like I say, Nigel will not be beaten. And if he gets two points here, well, I think he's got both feet in the finals of the 0 2 on the 18th of May. Didn't see this coming early on, the way Phil was playing, 16. really, Rod. No, especially with the way Phil Taylor's first start was laid in the trail, it was absolutely perfect. And he kicked off, especially the first leg, you're thinking, yep, Phil Taylor's carrying on where he left off. You're thinking, yep, Phil Taylor's carrying on where he left off last week. Carrying on where he left off last week. However, those checkouts just kind of put him on the back foot a bit. And now he's going to take some grit and determination to get himself back in this match. 96. Lovely first out. Peter Wright. 140. That was an important last dart as well to complete the 140. 140. And fill it up. 140. Three 180 so far. He's matched right on the ton 40 count as well, but Peter has hit 12 ton scores, four for Taylor. 129. He certainly didn't care about the bullseye route. Peter Wright just wanted to set it up, guaranteed him a point if he takes this double 16. 12th out thrown for Peter Wright with the throw. A very impressive leg to give him one point. Wow. Well, he used that as a guy, didn't he? And he will not be beaten by Taylor here now. Peter Wright is assured of a point, and he remains with just three defeats in 14 matches in the Premier League. Surely that is a huge step towards the 0-2. 6-2 he leads. Slack opening here from Taylor. Can Wright... Oh. Where's that come from? There you see it. 18 points. Possibility of going on to 19 with a victory. 81. Be well clear of Taylor, Anderson, Van Barneveld. And we remind you that Anderson and Van Barneveld are coming up next. What a match that is going to be. Huge, huge battle there between those two. And still to come tonight, by the way, at the end of the game of the uh, the night, Adrian Lewis and Michael Van Gerwen with our fifth game of the evening. Can Wright fill it up and take the 140? Looking good here. Yeah, with Adrian Lewis losing that first one, I mean, Chisnell, typical example, he's had two nights where he's played two matches. And walked away with four one wins. Minute. Could have been so good for Adrian Lewis for that loss against James Wade. has put him on the back foot. And Michael not playing great earlier on. You just feel that he's going to come out all guns are blazing. How many times have you seen four points from a player in one night and it really transforms their season, their hopes in the league table? Can Adrian find his A game when he faces MVG later? He needs to. Right, set up for Peter Wright. Wow, this is slack and he's a little frustrated here. 83. What a great Three, last start. Pitched it over eight. that flight. So now we've seen Peter Wright do this a few times, well, twice in the match. Can Phil Taylor? Keep himself in this match, double top, right on the top wire.
Oh, he couldn't have got much closer there, could he? Width of the wire. Now right for the match. Trouble 20. 16 would leave tops. Tops of the match. And two league points. Dips well below. Taylor to stay in the match here. Tops the target. Dip below needs double ten now. One dart at double five. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Is this the moment Peter Wright seals the deal? Double ten the target. It's a decent marker, isn't it? Well, 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 double five for Wright. Dip below. Phil's picking his darts back up. Did he put them away? Yes, he did. Do you require <laughs> this is going to end up like the Chisnell Van Gogh match, but Chisnell's had a chance to win it, and he's missed. Phil Taylor, double five, now it's going to be one for double two. To stay in the match, and double two it is. A lifeline for Phil Taylor. And a right smile from Peter Wright. I'm sure he doesn't mean that. So flag Peter to throw first. However, the... On the right side, it was Taylor's throw, so no need for right to panic. No, not at all. It's amusing seeing Phil get his darts back in. 49. Well, that's a bit sloppy from Peter. Is there still hope for Taylor here? After being 4 0 down last week, there's always 60. hope. Yes, but it's going to have to punish Wright's mistakes, and that previous three darts was a huge mistake. And Taylor only hit three bare twenties, so it's not going to help him out at all. However, these three darts might. Oh, His fourth oh, of the match. He's not done yet, is he? He's not finished yet. This will hurt him, though. 140. Good time to do it. Peter Wright still the favourite for the leg. One hundred and forty. Put himself in the mix though as Phil Taylor. Wright can't go out, so he can only set it up. Taylor's gonna come back with perhaps the third dart at the bullseye. One hundred. Oh, oh, Trouble twenty is the first route. Travel 20 is 11, will leave the bullseye. Bullseye to keep in this match and a break of throw. 96. Now, now, is he putting his darts away now? I doubt it. Treble 18 is the first shot. Oh, he's got it. Double 12 for the match. Well above. Can he use it as a guide? Yes, he can. Middle of the bed. And, and finally, Peter Wright right. sees off the challenge of Phil Taylor. And Peter Wright moves on to 19 Premier League points and has one foot in the playoff finals at the 0-2. Confirming there, Peter Wright 7, Phil Taylor 3. Taylor into the deep end from the start against Peter Snape by Wright. Some big finishes from Wright, 116, 104, 96. Closes out the victory. James Wade, a 7 4 victory over Adrian Lewis in our opening match of the evening. Dave Chisnell, 6 of with Michael Van Guren and Peter Snape by Wright, 7 3 over Phil Taylor. Wright moves on to 19 points, he'll be at the 0-2, Michael Van Gogh in there as well. Phil Taylor, third place with 15 points so far.
Rod as good as there, isn't he, please, to say about right now? Yeah, I mean, Peter Wright, I mean, we've seen James Wade take some good checkouts against Adrian Lewis, but that was the tally factor in that game. I mean, he took out a 108, a 116, uh, a 96, at crucial times. And we talk about getting control of a game and putting the pressure on your opponent. That's exactly what he did. I mean, Phil Taylor, the way he started the match, the way the first start was laying absolutely perfect in the treble, you thought, hello, this is Phil Taylor from last week. But he just wilted a little bit. And we talk about great darts at crucial times. That's what Peter Wright threw. We wondered whether Peter Wright would ever win a major. He won the UK Open. He's in with a major shout of winning this as well, isn't he? Oh, he is. I mean, he's improving all the time. I know he keeps changing his darts, looking for perfection, which I don't think's there. Uh, well, it isn't there. But every time he's learning the trade, he really is a, a good learner. He, he just looks at other people as well. He'll learn off of Phil Taylor, he'll learn off of Michael Van Gerwen. Just little bits. You've only got to improve yourself one, two percent each time. And on that performance, one or two percent will win in the Premier League. Up next, Gary Anderson against Raymond Van Barnveld. Both locked on 14 points. Another big game. They keep on coming. It, it's a massive game. I mean, the winner is going to really put himself in contention for the 0-2, the playoffs on the 18th of May. The loser's going to be back in the pack and that's where it gets a bit nervy. So a massive game. Again, you know, in these sort of situations, it's get a control of the game early. So you have not so much pressure on the doubles. Battle of World Champions coming next live from Birmingham. Gary Anderson, two-time champion of the world, against five-time world beater Raymond Van Bardeveld. Yeah. 